Welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to manage the scan text feature on your iPad. This feature allows you to convert text captured by your camera into written format, which can be very handy, but I understand that not everyone wants to use it all the time. First, let's talk about how you can use the scan text feature in the Notes app. To do this, open the Notes app and create a new note or open an existing one. Tap the camera button in the toolbar and select Scan Text. Point your camera at the text you want to capture, and when it appears in your note, tap Insert. This will convert the scanned text into editable text in your note. Now, if you're looking to remove this feature from your iPad, it's important to note that you cannot fully remove it. The scan text feature is integrated into iOS and iPadOS, so it will always be a part of your device's operating system. However, since it's primarily embedded within specific apps like Notes, it shouldn't interfere with your regular usage if you simply choose not to use it. If your goal is to extract scanned text and share it, this is quite simple to do. Once you have the text in the Notes app, you can easily copy and paste it into another app or send it via email or messaging apps. This flexibility makes it easy to manage and utilize the text you've scanned in various ways. Additionally, the scan text feature is also available in the Photos app. If you have a photo with text in your gallery, you'll notice an icon that represents text detection. Tap this icon to highlight and select the text in the photo. From there, you can copy the text and use it as needed. If you prefer not to use this feature in the Photos app, you can disable it in the Photos settings. Managing the scan text feature on your iPad is straightforward once you understand where and how it functions. Whether you want to use it in the Notes app, extract text from your photos, or simply choose not to use it, the control is in your hands. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Peace.